Oof, we got a big motor now. Sheesh, look at that horsepower. <laughs> Welcome back, this is BuildLog4. In this series we're trying to make an omnidirectional treadmill for under a thousand dollars. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, this one won't make much sense, so go watch them. They'll be in the description. First things first, I promised I would do a destruction test of the belt, but currently the belt really doesn't like moving, so I need to redo the design so it has less friction between the end caps and the belt. So let's hop into Fusion 360 and get a mock-up done. So here's the mock-up. These are the aluminum extrusions that I just bought and this roller right here is made of PVC pipe and it's going to have a dowel going straight through it to act as a cheap low end bearing because I'm not going to spend that kind of money considering we're going to have to have over 60 of these rollers in the final design. So let's go put this together so we can reduce the friction of the belt. This saw is absolutely terrifying because metal shavings are flying everywhere and I thought I might lose my eyesight while I was doing this because I forgot to put on safety glasses. So here's the good news, I didn't lose my eyesight, although this was absolutely terrifying and surprisingly enough the pieces actually look pretty okay. So I just drilled some holes in these two smaller pieces, so now that that's done let's move on to assembly. And there we go, now I have to say that looks pretty nice, so let's go work on the roller part of this. Just to remind you, this is what the roller section should roughly look like in the end. Here's the little end caps to keep the belt aligned nicely, and here's the cut dowel rod that will fit perfectly into the holes of cap. Then this is the PVC pipe with little spacers on the end to make a low end bearing. Then we can push the dowel rod through and proceed to put on the end caps. I think this looks pretty okay, so let's go attach it to the aluminum extrusions. So now this thing is attached to the aluminum extrusions and as you can see it does roll. It's a bit resistant but I'm hoping it'll fix itself over time. So let's go connect this up to the plywood. Now that it's connected to the plywood I can easily roll the cardboard belt over this roller and I just connected this to the plywood using two bolts and a bit of hot glue. Now I just have to do all of that again. So now that that's done, we just have to hook up a motor so we can do a durability test. So after looking at this motor a bit more, its RPM really is just too high to do a durability test on this and I'd honestly have to go through like a 1 to 10 gear reduction to get the right torque and I just don't want to do that so I think I'm going to go pick up a treadmill from the thrift store and after I got it, like, what's this? What's that? What the heck is that supposed to be? I mean, what is this thing even supposed to do? Where are all these wires going? What the heck is going on? So after a little bit of head scratching later, I got the gist of what I need to do. I've got my main motor and then I've got a speed controller. And I need to control this speed controller which controls the motor with an Arduino. And an Arduino is basically a little baby mini computer that I can program. So around five hours of wandering around and head scratching later, I got something that I think might work. So this is an absolute mess, but basically after trying to figure everything out by watching a bunch of YouTube videos and Googling, I can't figure out how to control the motor's speed because whenever I touch it, it just goes to max speed no matter what. I can enter zero as all the variables and all it does is go straight to max speed for no real reason. So that's really strange. Some more head scratching later and I may have figured it out. I think the main issue was the code, it was just not working, not doing what it was supposed to do, so I stole some off the internet, so let's go test this out. So here's how the system works, and for those of you who don't care, I'll be fast about it. So the ninth pin on the Arduino connects to the breadboard, 
which then leads to the fourth pin on the speed controller, which is also the PWM input. And the two most outside pins also connect to ground through the breadboard. Now I also put a resistor that will ground the PWM signal when not in use. Then I also have this breaker and it simply acts as an on off switch. I also connected up this transformer and I'm not really sure what it does, but I do think it does something. And then the main power comes through this wire right here, which goes through this thing. I have no idea what that thing does, but it does do something. Then this green wire is ground, which will ground the whole circuit through the wall. Then these two wires are the power wires for the motor, and then these two wires are the blue wires for thermal protection, but it's just not hooked up right now. Let's turn it on max speed. So now that the motor finally works, I put together this control box with all the electronics and I tried to add a fan for cooling but it didn't seem to want to connect up to the speed controller so it's just there, which isn't exactly great. Um, then I also put a little control panel on the front with the on off switch and I know this thing is definitely a fire hazard but I'm just hoping it doesn't burst in flames while I'm testing. I did make sure to grab the fire extinguisher though so that's good I guess. So this is the first time I tried interfacing the motor with the belt and it did not go well at all. So as you can see it's not working too well, it's just scraping off all the grippy stuff which is absolutely horrible and it looks awful right now. but. We're just going to try changing the position because in reality the roller will not be on the top of the belt It'll be on the bottom. So we're gonna see how that works Here we go round two And there you go, it kind of snapped where you'd expect at like one of the joints and you know I'm not too surprised. It ended up surviving for about 9 minutes, some of that was not on camera but that's about how long it survived, which really isn't good. So we're definitely not going to be using cardboard in the final design, unless maybe for testing purposes if I can make it less noisy because right now it is crazy loud. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave the video here, and for those of you who are still here, thanks so much for watching the whole video, it means a lot. Make sure to leave a comment guessing how much money I spent this episode, and anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you later.